fashion and technology are coming together truly for the first time. People have lots of motivations for putting things on their bodies, not just utility. It expresses who they are, and it has to be harmonious with the other things that are on their bodies. What's really interesting is you see people in fashion and people in technology starting to share a language. The tools and vernaculars are just slightly different. Here at Adafruit Industries, we're really interested in providing the best tools and materials for DIY wearables, which are things you make yourself that perform a function. Either they light up or they're you know, sensing garments. So we provide a ton of tutorials on our Adafruit Learning System website. A popular project is called the Sparkle Skirt, and it's got multicolored LEDs sewn into it with conductive thread and a motion sensor. So when you dance or shimmy, the lights sparkle in a random pattern. And that's really exciting to me to see like young girls and novices and even your grandma getting excited about putting technology in clothes because they can see it as a personal expression for themselves. Everybody has a different style. For wearables, you have to understand people wearing stuff, and that's completely different implications than just having a piece of technology in front of you. A wearable is a much more intimate device, and for the first time, you really can't avoid thinking about a completely other industry, which is fashion. Fashion designers spend their entire life dealing with silk and wool and not much else. And now if you tell them, oh, by the way, Things can change color, and they can move, and they can react. That just unleashes their creativity in ways that they never even dreamed. Fashion hasn't caught up with the speed of our everyday lives. There is a space there for a new blueprint. Historically, what's gone on in wearables is there's been this big DIY community that's kind of been born out of the academic environment. So I refer to it as the oil and water moment, because technology and design and fashion don't really want to go together. So you have to create a shared vocabulary, which means that this traditional wall that has always existed between the sciences and creative industries is starting to kind of disappear, or at least become more transparent. We're not conform to a runway and we believe that fashion's going through a really big transformation. Placing fashion technology into people's lives is very, very important for us. You know, it has to fit into the fabric of their everyday lives and, and the theatre of life. When you have something that's on your body and is associated with you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the burden that you have in terms of making it comfortable, making it fashionable, making it something that you really want to have associated with you is, is much, much higher. Fashion or what we wear, our garments, is always an extension of ourselves. So the skin basically can do a lot of things. It blushes, it changes color, the hair stands up, so it changes shape. So I'm saying, why don't we take these properties and extend it to our second skin? I'm a beauty tech designer. What I'm doing is to hide technology in beauty products. How you can use your body as an interactive platform. I went to a chemical lab and we developed this process for metallizing eyelashes. So we, we, we use that like a switch. So each time you close your eyes, we can sense that. And we can have a lot of applications with that. So we can turn on the lights, open the doors just with blinking. And if I have RFIDs into my nails, if I approximate that to a sensor, it will identify who I am, but also it will identify each of my fingernails. So I can make combinations of fingernails for activating things like opening a door or maybe paying the metro or any other applications that you can think about. Um, that's, that's very interesting because you can have all these cosmetics that you usually put on every day, but now with technology. The future of the body will be very exciting because we have our garment as an interface. It's a great, great opportunity to create new products that enable a new human experience. We can look around us, the world is changing and it's moving quickly. For fashion to keep up with that, which it has to, it needs to be able to engage and interface. And so we're enabling fashion to link and to couple with technology. Wearable technology is going to have to be fashionable and cool to move from being wearable to being worn. It's a huge opportunity to understand and know yourself and also transmit that to other people. So I really do believe that with wearable technologies, we can change the world.